Hi, I'm Steve Parsons, Program Director of Classic Rock 101, the home of uh, Brother Jake in the Morning. That's the only thing you program? The rest of the day you go dark? Trust me, I... Uh, I know Jake my, thinks of it that way. My day is filled dealing with him and him alone. And yeah, ju just between you and me, because Jake is kind of a legendary radio personality throughout right. Canada, who I believe is no longer allowed even in Ontario. No, he, he, he was uh, excommunicated from Ontario about 10 years ago. Yeah, so, so what, what is it like having to deal with him as his PD? Uh, tremendous talent. Uh, he's a guy I collaborate with. He's a guy I don't have to manage. And he's a, uh, just a ball of energy who's just a gas to work with. So, in other words, what I'm hearing is working with Jake, it's a living nightmare. <laughs> Uh, no, I think I said it's a it's an absolute gas, and I can't imagine working with anyone finer. Okay, you're just praying to get out of this job. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, that I got that nod, nod, the uh, nod, 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 wink, wink thing. I'm yeah. actually praying to get out of this corner. Oh, okay. Well, good. Then I have a question here. This is uh, where are we going, by the way? Through those doors is what? Well, uh, this is our uh, broadcast floor, and uh, we tell everyone that um, whatever they were doing before they got here is no longer relevant because all we want is their excellence, and it starts here. Oh, and that leads, here's the sign, excellence starts here. Right here. And where does it end? It's limitless. It's limitless. You're really good at this BS uh, PR. <laughs> okay, can, 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 do you have time to take us on a tiny little tour? Absolutely. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so where are we now? What is does this room have a name? Yeah, this is the the original CKNW uh, master control for uh, when we first moved into this building, and uh, this is where all of the uh, morning show and afternoon drive uh, programming used to originate. And when CKNW matured into a full time talk radio station. Uh, all of the programming then originated from the talk studio, which is over here to our right. This would be the talk, this what was the talk studio? And just oh, and still is. The talk studio, yeah. yeah there's, you know, there are people in there talking right now. That's correct. And now the screener is able, uh, in this modern age of radio, to play all the commercials, screen all the calls, and uh, operate the, the uh, breaks from that room there, thus making this room redundant. Yeah. I don't want to get the guy in trouble, but the, the screener, you might want to do some more training. I actually got through. <laughs> yeah, he I, appears to be watching golf. Yeah, well, there, there you go. And so, so this, this is not used anymore then? No, this, uh, this room uh, is uh, more a production studio than anything else. We have some old carts here. Sure. I assume, well, I assume they're old. I mean, let's see what they... They talk Larry the janitor. They, this is the important stuff right here. This is the these are goals from the 1994 uh, Vancouver Canuck run to the Stanley Cup final against the New York Rangers, and we took it to a game seven. And uh, unfortunately, do you have any season. idea how little anybody cares? It's very. I, I, very I know, I know that the Canadians. <laughs> I know, but uh, you, you, look, you, 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 you have to understand. Do you know what percentage of the world is non-Canadian? The majority. Yes. Okay. So. so so how often do you, you, you like play this every day, like Reveille, you sign on? Uh, the these make you feel very good. In fact, if you had hair on the back of your neck, all of those would make it stand up. Wow. Yeah. Guaranteed. And have you thought of uh, maybe some kind of sales promotion tie-in for a company that can put hair on the back of your neck? <laughs> so I'm just thinking here. Yeah, I'm just saying. Really good thinking. And uh, so, wow, there's another thing that says hockey. And uh, noon sports. No, so why are why are these sitting here? Have they been here? You said 1995. Have they been uh, sitting here for 14 no, years? No, we just very recently dug them up because the Canucks were in the playoffs again. Uh, playoffs again this year, and I think we thought they might go on a run, so we thought we would be nostalgic, and uh, we had to dredge out the old carts. By the way, yeah, Aristocart. Yeah, people who uh, created invented these carts. Yes are a CKNW company. In fact, the chief engineer of CKNW was the guy who uh, invented the cart. And they were built and created just outside our old studio in New Westminster. So uh, carts originated right here in Vancouver. Now, just so you know, the last radio station I visited, they invented the transistor. <laughs> you're, you're, you're saying you guys invented well, that brand. 
That's a fact. Of, of Kurt. Aristocart, yeah. Wait, that's a fact meaning you don't believe that, that they my story the about the transistor? No, I don't. Not even close. Huh. Okay. And uh, <laughs> and the finals, who, so you said somebody was in the finals again? or Yeah, well, the Canucks were the Canucks. Uh, making a playoff run this past year. But what, they, uh, they, just they, out of curiosity, what sport would that be? That's hockey. You think you think hockey's a sport? Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> far more entertaining than basketball. You're probably right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this oh so here oh here we have an old hot clock from Saturday. So ladies and gentlemen, this is this is history way past the making. It used to be that at eight to eight thirty Saturday morning, you start with news. Now that's pretty radical. You actually started the hour with news. I don't it's, think that's been done anywhere crazy, else. Yeah. At 04, it was traffic. Yeah. I don't know if people can read this, but at 04, it was traffic for one minute. Now, we're in Vancouver. So, when was this that this clock was in use? Uh, that's a good question. Thank Looks you. like it was back in about 2007. Okay, so in 2007, you allowed one minute for traffic at four minutes, at, at four minutes after the hour on a Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. You allowed one minute for traffic in Vancouver. My question is, what did you do for the other 48 seconds of the minute? That's a great question. Thank I, you. We must have done weather. Ah, or, may, or maybe you played one of the hockey flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Back to your glory days. Yeah. Uh, see, the, see, now this is cool. See, I can understand this. You know, this is a, this is a board. Yes. It's not a bunch of blinking lights that I'm afraid to touch. No, this, this they all make sense. Is, yeah. They're all well labeled. Yeah. 